Once more, the girls' spirits are high, but they are not home and dry yet. Standing out on the runway is something that you don't really want to do. Uh, you want to be beautiful, you want it to be flowing. You don't want to stand out because if you stand out, the designer sees you as sort of taking away from the clothing. So if you fall, you stand out. If your walk's bad, you stand out. I think Ellen needs to learn how to be more memorable on the runway. I think she's maybe overanalyzing the whole situation. She needs to put a little bit more of her character that she already genuinely has, naturally. She needs to put it back in her walk. But we never expected for Ashlyn to open the show. Today, her turn, I think, was a little bit more forced. She's still working on that. It's a little old-fashioned also. I mean, David thinks that she's a little bit too posy at the end of the runway, but, you know, I think that she's starting to learn how to interpret the clothes that she's wearing. Jessica needs to lose her habit of putting her hand on her hip. It's a little old-fashioned. It doesn't actually fit with her look. She was nervous in the, in the show when she was walking in that white dress. She pulled it off, but she was quite nervous. She, she, she had her hands clenched by the end. She's got to be more, more careful about her arms. Jenny asks Australian agent and runway coach, Bridget Mitchell, to give the girls an impromptu walking class. They all have bad habits that need attention. OK, what we're going to do is work on your walk. You all have a great walk, but just a little bit of zhuzhing. OK? You can do it. Just don't break your neck. You've got something really creative going on with one of your arms. And I think it's your left arm. You've got this, thing, you've got this thing going on. Right? So we're going to stop that. She does have a problem with her left arm, which tends to swing out to the side. I'm watching that arm. I'm watching that arm. 90% of girls, when they start walking, have this arm syndrome thing going on. Don't keep them still, love. For goodness sake, don't leave me and, and walk out in your next show like this. Still let your arms move, but just no, that one swings out too much. Bridget picks up on Lucy's poor posture and thinks it might be why she is not getting jobs. Lucy does have bad posture, and I think it's habit. When these tall, skinny girls are growing up, they're the tallest skinny girls, and so often they're, they're making themselves shorter because all their friends, and all the boys, of course, are shorter than them. So it's an easy habit to form. Hello. How are you? Madeline. IMG model Madeline Cragg has just arrived in from the US for Fashion Week. She is an amazing walker. What oh, kind of walk? Just like... What are you doing? What kind of walk? So a nice straight walk, not too much arm swing, and a nice smooth turn at the end. I cannot believe a pack of girls like that could come from one place. I think it's amazing, and I think this will open the door for everybody to be coming scouting for models in Ireland. For the a little um, experience they've had in big shows, they've done an amazing job today, and I really mean that. Coming up, the girls enjoy some downtime, Aussie style. There are more shows and more backstage dilemmas. And for Ashling, there's some bad news. Kick me out now, like, instead of fucking make me go through all this for a minute. It's day three of the Rosemount Australian Fashion Week. All five girls have attended castings, hoping to get selected for some of the top designer shows. So far, Lucy is the only girl who has not yet featured in a show. Ellen and Tobia have been cast in today's first show and have gone to hair and makeup. The other girls are in the first ready to wear show this afternoon. Over breakfast, their Australian agent Joseph rings with bad news. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Uh, we got cancelled for the ready to wear shows. Why? Um, do you know why we got cancelled? Just the. The fitting was not successful. All right, I should. Yeah. I know I am. How can we got trapped in sort of having to be at? They probably just have the look or the clothes fitted them good or. Oh, this is horrible now. Like, you know, just save me time and money and just kick me out now, like, instead of fucking make me go through all this for nothing.
model is, re is really hard work. The fairy tale story doesn't really exist. You really have to have a very thick skin. I have a really healthy self-image in order to do this job because you have to understand that it's 90% rejection at the beginning. We've had models that just said, you know, it's really tried it out and after six months or so said, it's not for me. It doesn't happen fast enough and they give up. And that's a shame, I think, if they really want to do it. We thought we had it in the bag and it just kind of shows the unpredictability of the whole industry. Like, so yeah, it was very, it was upsetting, all right. Just, just trying to keep my spirits up now is the main thing, trying to keep positive. You know, it's pretty depressing because for me, it was kind of one of the times where I got to kind of prove myself to Jenny and Davis and just now have less time to do that.